I love you. You're just the sweetest. You are. And you. Boop, 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 boop. You're kind of a pain in the butt, but I love you too. Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. It has already been a chaotic morning this morning. Jamie's on his way to go get more sap, and I think we're going to start boiling sap today. The girls are having their breakfast at 10.30. Yeah, 10.30. A little bit later than they should be. Somebody, which I gotta check some cameras, had an upset tummy this morning. So when I got up this morning, I had to clean the rug and the windowsill. Somebody pooked on the windowsill. Who pooked? I think it was this one, but Kira might have been that one. So it's part of the reason that their breakfast is a little late. We get up at like 7, but it's 10.30. But I wanted to make sure that everybody's okay and, you know, make sure that they were doing good. And everybody seemed fine. I just haven't checked the camera yet. I'm pretty sure it was Kira. <laughs> But she seems okay now, you know. Sometimes it happens, she might have ate something out in the yard. She might have, you just never know. It happens. Every once in a while, it happens. But yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day out there. Jamie is going to pick up sap. We're gonna start doing that. And I am not sure, actually by the time this video is up, the video I'm filming today will be up over on Gone to the Snow Dogs. We are filming the annual Easter egg hunt video today. So I'm preparing for that right now. I gotta go get the stuff to put in the eggs. And then while it's nice and sunny out in the backyard, we're gonna take the dogs out there, let them do their annual Easter egg hunt and film that. So if you wanna see that, it's up over on Gone to the Snow Dogs. If you wanna see a little preview, the amazing RFS Dan <laughs> will insert a little preview here. Also, as a reminder, we are going to Canada. So if you live in or around Toronto, this coming weekend from the time you guys see this video, we will be at the Toronto Pet Expo in Canada. So if you want a chance to come meet us and the dogs, come out and see us. It'll be super fun. We're excited to be going back to Canada. So we're filming the Easter egg hunt video, right? And uh, I guess the girls wanted to see what was going on while I was out there. And well, this one is on the table. Do you realize you're on the dead? You know, I have footage of you somewhere when you're a puppy and you used to get up here and sleep on the dining room table. Memphis, on the table's not where we're supposed to be. Just because you're on the table doesn't mean you get to go first. Uh, yeah? What else? What? What? Yeah? Are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah? Apparently, that's where you are today. Ma'am, you crack me up. Do you want to go find some more Easter eggs? He's like, yeah, no, I'm gonna sleep on this table. This is great. I love it. Memphis, <laughs> you're a riot. Yeah, oh yeah, yep. Napping on the table. Used to do this when you were a puppy, too. Bad dog. But you're cute. Whew. Well, that, that was a little chaotic. What do you think? But I think the video turned out good. Again, if you guys want to see the video, Memphis is sleeping way down there in the hallway. I don't know if you can even see her. If you guys want to see how the Easter egg hunt video turned out, it should be up over on Gone to the Snow Dogs. It is still one of my favorite videos to do every single year, but oh my gosh, sometimes it's just so chaotic. Hey, that's a lot of work. That video takes us a lot of time, but it always turns out amazing. What do you think? It's nice out there, I know. Maybe, maybe later, we'll see. Maybe we'll go for a W-A-O-K. -okay. We'll see. Dun, dun, dun. Oh There's still ice on here. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's that time. Do you need me to hold that? Nope. Uh, might sizzle a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I knew it was hot. Yeah. We just put that pan on there, so it shouldn't be too bad, but yeah. So we're starting to boil down the sap again. If you guys have watched the past few years, you remember last year we upgraded to these flat pans so there's more surface area so everything boils a little faster. And that's our pre-filter. Kind of filters out all the dirt and any sediment. And then we have another filter when we boil it that we put everything through again. Because yeah, a lot of times at the farm there's little uh, dangly yeah. you know, weeds or whatever flopping around. Or like this dog hair. Or I was to say yeah, or Just like that dog hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like you said, it gets filtered a couple times. Yep, we filtered a few times. So, what would you say we have? 20 gallons to start? Yeah, at least about 20, 20 gallons, yeah, a little 20 over 20 gallons. gallons. So, we should end up with about a gallon of syrup. And if we do it right, we'll have that really pretty amber color. This first batch should be a very light, hopefully, syrup. 
If you guys don't know that, syrup comes in different grades. Your first run is like amber colored, second run's like a mid color. Yeah, yeah, I bet. And then your third color is like the dark color, I think yeah. is what yeah, it is. Yeah, later in the season. We were and talking about, uh, I was telling Dan, I'm like, well, you're gonna be here for a few days. You're gonna see what syrup is like. And then he reminded me that he was here for this once. Uh, I forgot, yeah. but remember Steve showed up. Yep, uh, I guess there's a, a fad right now of coconut water. A lot of people are just drinking coconut water. Yeah. Well, because of that, people have realized, oh wait, I can just drink maple water? <laughs> so now, because there's like 2 million or 200 right. million trees tapped in North, or New York, North New York. Really? Yeah. And that's, they make maple, maple water. Well, they make maple syrup is what it's for, but they, right. they store it as maple water first. And I'm like, ah. hmm, so now they're going to maybe bottle. So maybe you can find that in the grocery store. Huh. Yeah. Maple water. Maple water. I mean, you guys were I, drinking it. Yeah. I assume if you were to buy, I don't know, a couple gallons of maple water, you could make a little maple syrup. Of, <laughs> maple syrup out of it. Remember, it's a 40 to 1 ratio, guys. Yeah. yeah. 40 to 1. Yeah, so so each, what, did, what did I just say? 20 gallons should get us half a gallon. I think well, I said Well, what we gallon. figured, what we figured is when you break it all down and everything, you take two of them little half pints. Yeah. And so, like, pretty much one pint right. is a five-gallon bucket. Right. So, I mean, yeah. that's two little small jars in a five-gallon bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, the, it's it started. Here we go. Let's see what we get. I know John Matthew's super excited about Uncle Jamie's maple syrup. <laughs> mm, do something. Work faster. <laughs> yeah, it'll start, it'll take a little bit because yeah. it's cold right now, but it'll, yeah. it'll start to boil. We'll come check on it again in a little bit. I don't know if you guys remember that from last year. <laughs> yeah, I, I, every time I boil sap now, I think about this. <laughs> You're like, oh. and I know, and what was really funny is I took a spoon and I mixed up his face a little bit, and a half like, hour later, back. he come right back. It's the haunted sap. <laughs> the haunted sap of 2022. Yep, yeah, that was last year. Yeah, that's funny though. <laughs> See if you make some faces. Yeah, you? maybe you make some faces. Oh, it looks so sad. So. Yeah? I just got a phone call. Was it exciting? Do you want to do that again? More woos about your phone call? A woo. No? No more woos? <laughs> what are you boofing about? What are you boofing about? So, I just got a phone call and it made me cry. It made me cry. It made me cry the good happy tears though, right? Say, so which kind of them happy tears, guys? Look at, we're all happy, happy tears. Let me tell you what the call was about. I was just outside and it's actually still pretty cold outside and a little windy, but... <laughs> Thank you, Eleanor. Anyway, I just got a phone call from my brother and it sounds like 90% chance they're finally coming home today. So tomorrow would have been five weeks that she's been in the hospital, that my sister-in-law, Danielle, has been in the hospital. If you guys don't know, there's a GoFundMe link down below with a bunch of the information about what's going on with her. <sighs> they're coming home. It sounds like they're coming home today. Oh my gosh, Sadie's gonna be so happy to see them again. I, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So it sounds like everything is going well. She did a really, really, like, she did chemotherapy and it was a really um, intense chemotherapy, but it sounds like not only does she get to come home, she might get to finish up her chemotherapy at our hospital instead of having to go back downstate. But they haven't fully decided that yet. I guess they're gonna, the doctors are gonna figure it out by next week. So but they might have to go back down for chemo, which isn't too bad, you know. At least they'll be home, but they can go down, spend the night, and then come home. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that they're coming home. How about you? Are you so happy that they're coming home? Them little tipper tappers and them little tail waggles and, and then Eleanor gets in your face. Eleanor's like, I'm gonna bop you in the face. What was that all about? Get her, Memphis. Get her. Don't let her do that. Memphis, get her. Don't let her treat you like that. Don't let her treat you like that. You get that pupper. You get, you get that pupper. Don't let her do that to you. <laughs> I love you. You're just the sweetest. You are. You're the sweetest pupper. Yes, you are. And you. Boop, 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 boop. You're kind of a pain in the butt, but I love you too. And you. Oh my goodness. Did you just drink a bunch of water? Come here, princess. I love you too. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> so yeah, that little Eleanor's a pain in the butt. Memphis says, wait for me, Dad, wait for me! Wait for me, Dad! <laughs> the girls are going. Yeah. Woo! All of our snow is melting! 
I feel like whenever we do the Easter egg video, for like days afterwards, the dogs are like, but is there Easter eggs? Because there could be Easter eggs. Eleanor! Eleanor, come here! She's like, nah, I got Kira by the collar. She grabbed Kira by the collar the other day and pulled it right off. Yeah, you get her, Kira. Get her. Get her, Kira. Get her. Woo! You wanna go back inside already? You can go back inside. You get her. You get her. Memphis is like, ah, oh, these puppies. They're crazy. Come on. You got her by the collar again? Come on, let's go. Bring her in here. Come on, Kira, go. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I missed it. I hit the pause button and then you turn around and ran back out here? Are you looking for Easter eggs? She's like, I was not done being outside. I was just done being harassed by the puppy. That's all. <sighs> you goofball. Come on, let's go inside. Go, go on, go, go. There's no more Easter eggs out here, I swear. There's no more, go. Go on, get in there, go. <laughs> you are, you're gonna be a pain in the butt. Is like, I am a pain in the butt, Mom. I am a total pain in the butt. Oh, the neighbor dog's out. Oh, and Kira gets to be the only one that says hello. You gonna do your hops, Kira? You ready for my hops? Here come my hops. Here they go. Hop. <laughs> Are you hopping? She's like, I know that neighbor dog is out. It's over there. I know it. <laughs> Kira. <laughs> She's like, we could be friends. Let's play. Through the fence. Did you come to help me get this dog in? <laughs> Jamie let Eleanor back out. Hi, Eleanor! Hi, Kira! Girl, I just... The plan was to go inside, not back outside. Oh my gosh, you're way too close to that tree. You're making me dizzy. Call him! Come on, girl. Hey, Eleanor. Good luck, that didn't work. <laughs> Come on, Kira, let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Uh, that was so much fun. Come on. <laughs> we started their motors. Come on, we got a box to open. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Come on, good girl. Okay, we got one. Come on, Kira. Let's go. Go on. Go. Here she comes, here she comes, here she goes. We did it! We got a box. Before I even open the box, I am insanely excited about this. Memphis, that's my hand, thanks. There's nothing on it, I swear. There's gonna be a link in the video description so you guys can sign up to find out about these when they actually launch, which I think is April 25th. So, did you guess what it is yet? Mm. It's a box. It's a box. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness! Oh my lord. Yeah, you're gonna have to open that. Oh my, oh my, I saw the back of it. Are you ready? Wow. Are you ready? Oh, that's cool. Look at it! It says go to the snow dogs. That's cool. It's a Shelby Spirit Hood. Yeah. It's the Siberian Husky Spirit Hood which we chose this fur pattern in memory of Shelby. Look at the liner! That's so cool. All right, mm, yeah. we'll fluff it a little. Yeah, put it if you us. ever buy one of these, when you, hey, don't chew on it. <laughs> when you get it, you gotta shake it and kind of fluff it. Right. Ooh, I like it. I like the ears. <laughs> this has been like years in the making like you guys saw the bed like you could show them the bed they know what it looks like yeah you guys saw the bed that we had done with them this was the next part of the plan here i got shelby's uh picture in the background yeah. back there so i can kind of see both the other so uh... oh i love it so much it's so pretty this is so i this is amazing this is so cool right, let me see but this isn't all so this that's, that's liner, not a, that's not a spirit, this is not a hood. This okay, that's the fur. liner matches the oh, bed. This is a throw. Oh, that's nice. I, like, I don't mind the Aztec or the. I, li I like yeah, it. So this patterns. says down here in the corner, it says Husky and it says Gone to the Snow Dogs. 
So every one of these will say Gone to the Snow Dogs, so you'll know that it's a Gone to the Snow Dogs collab. And again, this one is also in yeah. memory of Shelby. It was very hard to find like an actual fur that, I mean, her fur was pretty unique, but th I thought this was pretty good. So this, the, oh, you chewed on it, Eleanor, stop chewing. <laughs> this, uh, keeps moving around. this fur matches the hood. Yes. So, and then the bed, you guys saw the bed is a little bit different. Yeah, but this is the same. The bed is definitely a, it's a dog bed. It's, it's yeah, short. It's, not this, it's short fur. Exactly. So it's a, more is, of a short fur where this, this is, is more of a. You can see here, yeah. my fingers go through it. So if, you guys, if you guys have never had a spirit hoods throw, they're amazing. They are. Oh, that's, but that's huge. But what you might not know, it's the throw size. Yeah. Is they do have. See if I can do it. Yeah. So they mm -hmm. have a button here, and then they have this. Button so you can actually like fold them over and button it if you want. Yeah, you could wrap it around you. And... <laughs> so that's a throw blanket. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This is completely wrapped It's dreams come true right there. And you guys have seen some of our other spirit hood throws. The blue one is a throw. We've got Jamie usually takes one with him when he goes up to the UP. Yeah, I have a really old one. It's not maybe, very soft anymore. Say maybe you'll upgrade to this one. Uh, maybe. Wow, it's so pretty. I love the color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And the hood, and the Memphis. Hi Memphis, Memphis is like, okay, put it on me. All right, hold on, I'll put it on you. I don't know if you guys saw this. This is the tag that's on it. Designed with the helping paws of our furry friends gone to the snow dogs. Life is short, adventure with your dogs. So the tag, that's what the tag, and it says, it's got the glittery, not glittery, but you know, gone to the snow dogs. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on Memphis. Look how cute you are! So I put it on her with the little paws hanging down. <gasps> you look so cute! Kira's like, hmm, maybe I try it on. Uh oh, you put your head down. Now you can't see. Oh no! You can't see! Keep looking down, it'll fall off! He's like, ah, yeah, I tore it off. I tore it off. But you were so cute! So like, yeah, I know, but I don't need to wear it right now. So like I said, getting released soon, there's a link in the video description where you can sign up and you'll get an email as soon as it launches. This is amazing. I am so excited about this. All right, ready to go outside? I'm gonna go check on Sap in a second. Memphis! We lost Memphis. Oh, she's getting a drink. I can hear her. I'll let her out in a minute. Ready, set, go! And they're off. Dun, 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 dun. And she's gonna turn around and pick on Kira. You always gotta pick on Kira. <laughs> gotta go outside. Alright. We go outside. Alright, be good. <laughs> I think both of these buckets are in here. I'll have to ask Jamie to be sure. But I'm pretty sure that's both of those buckets. And we're just gonna boil and then he'll shut it off tonight and we'll start it up again in the morning. I forgot to say goodnight last night. So good morning, the dogs are having breakfast and now we're gonna say goodnight. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big and we will see you again soon because it's already the next day. So we're gonna start vlogging again. So we'll see you in a few minutes but you guys won't see it till the next day. Good night, audience. <laughs>